All right, Salt Creek chords. Let's check it out. The key of A. So as we play through, try to visualize the melody of the tune, right? You can already start to hear the chords in that, right? So A, 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 D, G, right for this section. There's the G, right? And then five chord, E. You could play like a power chord like that. You could play it like this. Right? Stacked up like that. Or you could play it like this. So if you're playing with the long bluegrass chord. Or if you're playing it open, it's going to be this. Right? Did you catch that? That's A, D, Flat seven, G, five. That's why banjo players, guitar players, and mandolin players really love this tune is like anytime we can get a flat seven, we get all these kind of cool licks. Right? That's why we love Salt Creek, right? So A, 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 D, G, 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 E, A, 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 D, A, A, E, A. You start to see the themes with some of these fiddle tunes it's like you start having the, the tune itself and then when we get to the end of it you have that typical one one five one so one more time at a light jog for the the chords on section one one two one two buckle your shoe one four seven five one four one five one so you see how the chords four and five only last half as long, right? So one, 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 four. It's just a beat, and that's a transition to get us to seven, 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 five. That's a transition to get us to one, 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 four, one, one, five, one. Okay? The first section... A little more complicated than the back section. Here comes the back section. It's the part that's... Right? This one's easy. It's just one, 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 seven, 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 one, 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 four, one, one, five, one. So here's the melody again. You see how when we're playing, that's just one, and then just seven, one. That's where you can do the quick four. Da 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 four one one five one. Right. Anytime you get the tag, one one five one. So I'm going to play through the whole tune in comping mode. A A B B. Here we go. One two three four. Da da da. A section again. section Dun. B section right there you have it so the only thing to take note of is in the B section if you want to throw in that quick four or if you opt to leave it out has no real uh, merit on the harmony that's happening in the tag, right? For example, B section. It's so quick, you could do it without it. Here's without it. Where I shrugged is where it could have been, right? There's the chords to it. Be sure to check out the toolkit we've got. It's got the acoustic guitar, the melody on the mandolin, the chopped rhythm, the comped rhythm, if you will. We're going to have a lesson on the acoustic guitar chords, and you can take out any or all of those parts. It's not a bad idea if you take out the guitar and the chopped mandolin when you're comping. That way you're the only guy carrying the rhythm. You can play along with the melody, check it out, 
in the lessons to come.